Someone tagged me on Facebook. Oh, wow. This looks good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you and Sam look so young. Yeah. Ooh, makes me want you so bad right now. Babe, <laughs> hey, get, get off me. What? A Forbes baby might come out of this. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> anyway, I'm sure they're going to send copies of this to the office by Monday. Mm, not necessarily. Um, they might just be showing off the cover, PR things. Oh, look at you, PR guru. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at all these girls checking out my husband in the comments. You see? Nabia Tambliki Nyumbani, which means that a prophet isn't appreciated at all. Right. But did you have to speak in tongues first? The hundredth time. Stop referring to Swahili as speaking in tongues. Yeah, whatever. And besides, you're not even that hot. They're just tripping. You really think so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean that? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> really? What's <laughs> up? <gasps> Put it on speaker. Hey, bro. Hi, Sam. Hey, guys. What's up? Are you okay, Sammy? It's not the time to be cute. Uh, not so good. What's up? Um, Dominique, please can you come through? Right away, bro. Carrie's okay. She just stepped out. And what's up? Does it have something to do with Christ? It does. Is this the end? Of, of course not. That's a lifelong journey with you. I'm committed to it. Okay. Then help me out here, bro. You know how I have um, been feeling the pressure to stretch myself a bit more. But more importantly, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be a father pretty soon. And the more I think about that, the more I, I think I, I need to get things right with Carrie. She's going to be having our baby. I think it's perfect timing. It's time I go for that um, MBA program in the US I told you about. And then she can have our baby. But that's two years. Have you thought this through? Pretty much. So what does that mean? You're actively not going to be involved in the movie. Exactly. As a matter of fact, I would have to step down as an active partner in those two years. But I'll, I'll definitely, you know, operate on a silent managerial capacity. I got a hands-on replacement. I, I know you'd be, you need a hand, you know, so I got it all covered, trust me. Replacement? No. Uh, I'll be fine. We can work this through. Are you sure? See, you know how things are right now at the office. You know, I don't want you putting yourself under so much pressure. You know, we could afford an extra hand. I can increase my hours. Come on, Tia, I insist. Fine, Sam, fine, just give me some time. I might be able to pull things through, save us some costs. Okay, I'll give you a month. That's fine, so this, this master's program, 
It's the one we spoke about, right? Mm -hmm. It starts in one month. I really have to go for this batch. The next batch is um, next summer. I'm afraid if I don't go for this one, it will defeat the purpose of being with Carrie at this time. Listen, bro. I'm proud of you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a win situation. You gain knowledge for two plus Christ, and uh, you get a chance to be a better family man. <laughs> That's for you, are my brother, for my other mother. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious. Uh, is Carrie happy about this sudden move? Bro, that woman loves me. A little more than I deserve, I think. You know, she said she could um, take online fashion courses as well. She's got the bridal store covered. Well, at the end of the day, some of the best decisions are made at the spa of the moment. And Kerry doesn't even know how to break the news to Day Day. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely worth thinking about. You know, it's, it's funny how we got ourselves drama queen. <laughs> You know, in their own unique ways. Remember how we used to say that we we're gonna marry supermodels and uh, work at Wall Street? Yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Stupid hundred level days. Yeah, I remember. No regrets? Absolutely. I'm really grateful for the support, bro. You are my 100. Always. Mama. <laughs> My son, welcome. You look fresh. <laughs> Good evening, ma. Ah, welcome, my darling. No, thank you. Oh, my friend, Tommy Day. Eh? The one I always talk about. Eh? See? Yes, ma. The one in the upper bunk. <laughs> the Kenyan? Yeah. Oh, welcome, dear. No, welcome. Hey. Ah, I have heard so much about you. Eh? Oh, God bless you and your precious mother. He told me how she bought provisions for him when I couldn't make it because of the shop. No problem, ma. Mm. Oh, I, he's going to be staying over for the weekend. Mm. I insisted he comes home with me to see oh, you. Good. I told him you're going to make him fat with um, food. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my son. Welcome. This is your house. You hear me? I will feed you till both of you become fat before you go back to school. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we have fufu and, you know, abu and... Uh, <laughs> abu and... Yes. Abu and <laughs> <laughs> when did your friend move from Kenya to Nigeria? Mm, um, after high school. After my father died, sir. Oh. How is your family now? Very well, sir. Mm. What was your first semester GPA? Darling, please. Hmm? 4.5, sir. Hmm? Does he have two heads? Mpa. Mpa, no zama juju. Eh? Eh? It's only go away. Hmm? Look, what I don't understand is why you are friends to a first class student when you are struggling to be second class lower, eh? in your first year of school. Who's the one I know? Be so happy, I know. I don't know what to do. Hey, Mama. Excuse me, sir. Hey. I see why you hate him. Never been good enough for him. Never will be. Why didn't you tell me about your GPA? I'm not proud of it. If you want, I could help. I studied with this guy called Toby. Crazy, but uh, very smart. I'm sorry you had seen my dad that way. You know, he had some <laughs> pretty nice moments. It's cool. I get it. Whoa, you will never guess who is calling. Monica. Monica? Mm -hmm. Like Monica? Like Monica. The hottest chicken in our department. You know this. What did you even? <laughs> Guy, now, Yami, how do you do it? You know the chicks, study, party baddest. Hey, you know that. Speaking of baddest, I hope you brought the booze. 
Yeah, of course, I, I have it. If I press I don't carry on. But we'll have to wait till they are asleep, though. They are pretty deep sleepers, so that's not they sleep off. Oh, well. cash in school. You know, I've been thinking, mm. imagine if we had enough money to go abroad for our masters mm? Mm. and work on Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> we meet all those fun models, you know, make them our girlfriends, get ourselves a private jet. Wow. You know, lunch on Wall Street, dinner in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> dope, 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 dope. Oh. You know what? Mm. Let's do it. Let's build an app together mm. and sell it. Uh, how about we, we use my dad's old Mercedes as a private car in school? Yeah, 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 we can. We can get a driver and pay him. You know, which no. one is up now? No. Uh, are you having like um, some sort of no. Zuckerberg moment right now? You know, we can even start a company while we're still in school. Get investors. Mm. Make big money. It can be a big company. Mm. You're definitely on the high. I can, I can see it. I see it, bro. So, what's the name of this business? Uh... Crest. Why does that remind me of Toothpaste? I'm telling you, we're gonna be rich, bro. You're definitely on a Zuckerberg and Bill Gates high. I told you, I told you not to take that last shot. You wouldn't listen, I told you. You know what? I see nothing. I, I I do not see Jack, but I'm in. Mm. I'm in. But what about the taxi business now? Don't you see anything? You can't see it. Taxi business. You want to be telling your children you're a taxi driver? Okay. Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm a taxi driver. You're high. What if he doesn't come back? What if he lands a job on Wall Street like we dreamed about? You're overthinking it. And why aren't you being dramatic about this? I don't know. Maybe because I'm more happy than sad. I mean, this move will be great for them and the baby. You're right. I know you're worried about crests, but we'll just take it a day at a time, okay? It's about them, not us. It's just that I've never been away from Sam since I met him. I think it's just hitting me. I know. I should go see Carrie tomorrow. Maybe we should do something nice for them. Yeah, I agree. Something thoughtful. How about we take them out for dinner at a fancy place? Seriously? That's your best shot? Fine. It's your cross. Just let me know what to do. I'm really going to miss Carrie. What? Are you about to cry right now? Just a few minutes ago, you all macho. Come on. I'm just having a moment, okay? Um, 
Okay, um, maybe you should change your hair or something, it stinks. You know what? I'll just go have my moments by myself. And by the way, it's called coconut oil. Unprocessed. There's no cost. And by the way, for the records, you have a zoo in your armpit. I'm sure there are little creatures living in it. Men don't shave. All the time. All right, enjoy the mosquitoes in the parlor. Shut up. <laughs> oh my God, I knew this was going to happen. I'm going to start crying. It's okay. I had my fair share yesterday. <laughs> so what do you think about all of this? Well, it's sudden, no doubt. But I feel really good about it. Yeah, me too. At least he cares about me now. <laughs> it was all about himself and his work the entire time. Well, now there's three of you. <laughs> Oh, and the sex, too. You know, pregnant women are always horny like okay, right Okay, I get it. Thanks, Carrie. I can't wait till you're pregnant, too. Well, I'm glad that you're a happy pregnant woman. You've, you've done really well, actually, surprisingly. You and Tia have been our support system. I just hope we won't be alone in a strange land. God will send people. I know this. Yeah. Anyways, two years will soon be over. Exactly. <laughs> we broke the news to Sam's parents yesterday. Oh my God. We had a huge fight with his father. His father says we don't have his blessings. You know, I thought that old age would give, you know, Sam's dad some chill, but it's too hard on him. I've never seen Sam so, so mad. Like, he doesn't even care anymore. That's, that's bad. I just, I just wanted to bring them closer. It's, it's stupid. They have a complete family. I would give anything to have a complete family. Okay, let's not go there. And you do have one. We're family. I just... I tried my best to just bring them together. It's... I thought Sam's family would be the one that I never had. How can his father say we don't have his blessings? Child, I'm exhausted with them. T. I hate when you're in your laptop because like nothing else matters. I'm not gonna say anything because you don't know what you're saying. Okay, can you pause? Let go. So you're saying that we meet up with Sam's dad and convince him to bless their travel? Exactly. Have you met this man? I don't like him. I don't even have one single good memory of him. Maybe one it or two. It would mean a lot to carry. I know. But there must be another way. Uh, maybe we can pay for their one-way ticket or something. It, it's just not our place to do this. Babe, Carrie's an orphan. Okay, she grew up in foster care. She never had the experience of a family unit. And the way she spoke today, I know she wishes that things were different with Sam's family. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about Carrie. That's because she's good at making us forget. She is one of the strongest women I know. And you know that Sam wishes things were better with his dad. Every child wants their parents' blessings. Come on. And you know his dad sees you as a second son. Okay, fine. Supposing I agree to this, 
Do you have a plan? Because you definitely need a plan. I do. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, my boy. <clears throat> thank you, my son. You're welcome. Mm. Dad. Okay, so what are you guys up to? Did they? Do I go first? I'll go. Okay. Dearest Sam and Kerry, I'll be your chef today. What? <laughs> Seriously, mm -hmm. I prepared that food over there uh, with the help of a recipe book, of course, and uh, this lovely lady. Oh. So, hey, don't worry, it's safe, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> this is my guy, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, we love you guys, and we wanted to do something special for you before you go. Um, we know you've been busy uh, with packing and getting things in order. Yeah. So, we came up with a plan to host the both of you alongside two special people. What, what is going on? Relax, bro. Mm. But, mm? you see, my father raised me with an iron hand. Mm. It's perhaps the only way I know to express love. It is well with your journey. You will go and come back in peace. Amen. Yeah? Mm. You see these are your two friends. Mm. Mm? Hold them tight, you. Mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> these are friends from the Almighty God.